that was a. That was a. That was a. That was. Oh, okay. 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 Um. So a painting just came to life, and that was pretty creepy. I don't know about this guy. I mean, what if this one comes to life? I'm getting out of here. I'm done. I'm done. Uh oh. Heads up! What are you doing? You dare to interfere! Welcome back to Whose Goosebumps Is It Anyway? Where Adam West has a huge bulge and the plot doesn't matter. <laughs> I guess, uh, whoa, what, 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 what? Why does shit randomly laugh at me when I'm around here? I don't get it. It confuses me. Let's get in the elevator. Oh, seventh floor. Oh, it's the eighth floor. Crap. I was gonna sing a Canada song and everything. Um, so our little slide is gone? I discovered a sort of glitch, because you're only supposed to use it once, and after you use it, it disappears. But since I saved the game and quit before I triggered that cutscene leaving the room, it respawned the slide, but because you're supposed to use it before you leave, it doesn't show up in your inventory anymore, so I don't have it anymore, and that's interesting. So let's go in Pinky's room, because we have nothing else to do on this floor. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, uh, how's about a little, uh, help? Cowabunga, bro! Singing songs to along with the songs Playing songs in his head Cause he will be dead If we don't help him in the summer sun We don't help him in the summer sun Because we're just having fun in the summer sun Purple roofs are fun in the summer sun Okay, that's enough Come on, <laughs> Oh yeah. Making sweet love to you while you're hanging from your head. No homo. Gonna sing you songs. Come on, man. Free me before my sanity goes insane. Put a drug in your drink. Bring you home with me. Lay you down gently Tuck you in for a nap Date rape is fun JK, date rape's terrible, don't do it Whew, fine flicking, man I got a jet, but I'll for sure tell the rest of the league That you are clearly a cadet to be trusted Whoa, one more thing Never forget the feedback credo Look hot, stay cool, and always steer clear of the bee. Excuse me? Can, can we just talk about that for a second, please? Always remember the feedback credo. Look hot, stay cool, always steer clear of the bee. All right, so we got a coin. It, it's a it's a mutant quarter. In in mutant we trust. So apparently we trust the mutant with our money now. Let's get in the elevator. Do 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 do. Going to the next floor. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Oh. oh. As usual, I'm here in the nick of time. Don't you just ah! love me? <laughs> Captain Bob, at your service. I know you're dying to thank me. Everyone always is, but there's no time for that now. Look at his that forehead. comic book you arrived with, may I Look see? Look for it. Don't tell me you've lost it. It must be in the building. I have reason to believe what it building? contains a vital clue concerning mutant's greatest weakness. Where the fuck are Get you? going! Track it down! What's with your Don't hips? Let the other league members know what's happening. When you find it, meet me in room 509. Ah! Till then, my friend! Oh my god. 
god! Oh my god! <laughs> so that was Captain Bob. He's a guy. We haven't seen him before, but apparently he's part of the league, so that's cool. Apparently the, uh, the comic book that we just lost is very important. Also, the perspective on this moon and Earth. Apparently we are giant, or the Earth and moon are very small because the moon's to the right. We take just a few steps, and the moon's way to the left. So, spatial recognition, who needs it? I mean, hell, we don't even have architecture. So, I mean, we might as well not have anything else having to do with freaking physics. <laughs> Hey, oh, oh god! Whoa! Um, there's this is, there's some scary shit going on right now. I'm gonna take out my pokey stick because this is I have a feeling this is gonna get real intense. So this is the other bonus floor I was talking about, and this is easily the creepiest floor in the entire freaking game. And it's randomly f I think it's floor three. If you looked at the side of the elevator when we got out, and there's skeletons and creepy eyes on the wall. God, it's so fucking creepy. They're little guys, but oh yeah, Second Amendment rats, bitch! <laughs> For those of you that don't live in America, that sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, so many! Ah! So here we have our uh, our cape, but it's in a cage and we can't get to it. And there's so many freaking skeletons. It's he got hung from his his freaking wrist from one wrist. This guy was in a birdcage. Also, it's worth noting that the moons on this floor are not DreamWorks moons. They are full moons, and that's pretty cool. So anyway, we open up this uh, this Iron Maiden here. And that will actually open up the cage for us. So if we're, if we're quick about it, we can hop right in and get ourselves a cape from Adam West. Good job. You got the cape. Keep looking for the missing pieces. I gotta work on that voice, man. Adam West is not a strong suit. So yeah, this floor is creepy, so we're gonna get the fuck out of here. What is it with hanging people from their wrists? Why would you do that? <laughs> Damn it, mutant! That is my constitutional right! And here we are back on... Oh, I guess floor seven. Oh, seventh floor, oh, seventh floor. My home and native... Floor. Yeah, I can I can sing it now, yay. So if you remember correctly, last episode we actually saw a comic book dispenser with a quarter slot. So let's use our quarter. Get ourselves another magical comic book. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We could go straight back. Where are we? Oh my god, I moved too fast. <laughs> this is too fast. We could go back straight into the only elevator available for us. And hopefully this will take us to the fifth floor. Okay, floor five. Yes, excellent. So we are on floor five. He want Bob. Uh, B uh, Captain Bob wanted us to meet him in 509. So apparently that's somewhere on this floor. But uh, something I failed to mention earlier. Notice the phone is gone. The evil phone of doom is gone from the mutant's office. Because when we came in here last, the phone was actually the mutant. And if you remember correctly, the phone was purple and yellow. So that is the mutant's capability, is that he can turn into anything, such as that panther, and he pretty much always has purple and yellow colors, so we need to keep a lookout for purple and yellow things, because you never know. Always remember the feedback credo. Also, something else to mention, if you walk into this portrait of the greenhouse, it's actually a direct warp to the freaking greenhouse. <laughs> so that's... That's interesting. We can't just leave easily because why would the developers want you to do that? Instead, you come in here, and actually these little green gremlin guys we saw before are what spawn now, as opposed to those little bug guys, but we're just trying to find room 509. So uh, we should probably go do that pretty quick here. I'm sure there's very pertinent information. That's the greenhouse side. Very pertinent information in the comic book that we can use. Ah, you found it! Great! Hand it over! Fool! You fall directly into my trap. <laughs> now watch! <laughs> that untrustworthy dog, the magnificent molecule man, imprisoned Chinchilla in his comic book. And it took a buffoon like you to free her for me. Now, 
doll, I figure the least I can do is repay the favor. By blasting you right out of this world! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I need to clarify some things after that most recent cutscene. Uh, one being that Captain Bob is a real son of a bitch. Just, just a real, 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 uh, real son of a bitch, you know? Uh, two being that Chinchilla's one ugly son of a bitch. Just real, real bad looking. Just real bad. Uh, three, that was some pretty cool portal music. I really like the portal soundtrack and I'm glad they included it in this game. Uh, Four being that, um, I most definitely am not a bassoon mutant, so I'd really appreciate it if you didn't call me that. That'd be cool. So yeah, uh, man, this is getting kind of chilly in here. Oh, seventh floor. Whoa, one more thing. Never forget the feedback credo. Look hot, stay cool, and always steer clear of the bees.